Hello everybody and welcome to a follow-up video, Fallout 76 video. Today we're going to be bringing you a new Atomic Shop item. I set up a quick little camp here um, just to demonstrate it. And this is uh, a new type of shelter, uh, which is the abandoned mine shaft. There's two ways to get into it. There's basically this um, large uh, mine elevator here that you can uh, you can place it's quite a big piece um, getting this to, to sit level with the ground is, is gonna be tough but it's a uh, it's quite a cool piece and then there's also this here which is a uh, sort of a door that you can place on uh, how do we select it afterwards it's a door that you can you can place on places. So if you go over to shelters, we're gonna find them in the second tab here. So again, this is the uh, this is the piece here. So I'm gonna place it like so. Again, we can have more than one of these. I think you can have three. Yeah, you can have three of these. And the second one is here. So, uh, it's a lot of people don't realize how not flat um, most of the walls are. So, even this cliff here, you're like, oh, cool, it's a cliff. Let's place it against it. But if you notice, the ramp up leading up to the cliff has these sort of dirt piles on it. And it's very hard to actually find a, a flat surface to attach this to. So, maybe this. But even still, this is, you know, when the bottom is touching, there's still quite a lot of lean before it, it uh, actually gets to the front surface there. Um, and also the coloration is off on this. See the void here? It's it's almost like a bluey black, but if we actually take a look at the black and the crevices on the rocks, um, it's it's a very much a different color. So I'm not a big fan of this uh, this entrance here, but the mine elevator is a very 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 cool piece. Um. So this mine elevator is to scale. I know it looks sort of small, but this is sort of the size a mine elevator would be for this kind of thing. So we're gonna go down and um, go right down to the bottom. Here we go. So I have poked around here a little bit. I have been here already once, uh, just to explore it. Um, so this comes like this. I didn't put any of any of this decoration on it. And there is a, um, a light and a, uh, a box here, a uh, shelter's control panel, which is pretty cool. If we come over here, we find that there's a railway track and some more lighting. And we get into a uh, big open mine space here. Very, very cool. Now, we'll get to some of this in a sec here. So, yeah, these are jacks holding the ceiling up. This mine shaft ends here. So you can't, uh, unfortunately, can't do anything past here. But you can close this off and use this as a, as a space. Uh, or again, if you wanted to use, uh, there's partition walls. There's partition walls. Are they under floor decor? I'm just wondering if they're under floor decor. Because this is um, a shelter, you can be a lot more liberal with your placements of things. Sorry, floor decor, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, there, here's the partitions. So this is a good use for these kinds of things where you can basically close off a space if you wanted to and make something feel like a, you know, a, a hidden layer down here somewhere. Um, and create sort of a privacy, a division, or again, if you wanted to, you can place foundations right inside here, uh, generators, anything this is a very inside shelters is a very free uh placement uh requirements so you can see over here we place floors um also this place here has a, a pool in it so i wanted to see if you can place water generation here water I already went past it, didn't I? 
food. Am I going crazy? Okay. So you can't place water underneath here. There is water, but there's no water category. Um, which means you can't place sinks here. Uh, which sucks. I wish you could do that. Uh, can we loot this? We can at least loot this, which is nice. It does give us rides as well. So you have to be careful with that. So it's cool that there is a, a, a water pool here. Um, there's no minerals in this, so there's no uh, resources. But overall, a very, very cool uh, feature and something I will definitely be working into my camps. Um, I'm going to do a really cool layout on the inside here, and then i got to find a place to put it in my existing camps, but we'll work that in. That's a solvable problem, for the most part. Or I'll just keep it for me. I've always wanted to do a camp out here in the ash heap. Let's go back outside, and I'll show you the outside once again. Ooh, that's a mega sloth for you. Um, I've always wanted to do a camp in the ash heap that was sort of a scrapper's uh, shack. Um, sell metals, that kind of stuff. So I think this will be a perfect addition to that kind of thing. But you can also set up a sort of a hidden base theme, um, you know, a, a underground drug lab kind of thing. Um, I, I built a, uh, just to show you here, I mounted this to a foundation that was inset into the wall to give sort of like an underground tunnel look. Like this foundation here is part of a concrete blockhouse. And then I dressed it up here with some wooden panels, and again, you can decorate this appropriately, um, or just use this as sort of your mind front entrance here. Uh, and again, this is the uh, this is the piece here. So there's nothing on the back side here. There's only this uh, little vented door on the front here. Anyways, I very much enjoy this. Uh, it's on the Atomic Shop right now. Um, what was it called? Let's show you where it is. So if we go to the Atomic Shop and we go to Camp, so you'll see here there's the abandoned mine. Um, yeah, click on it, buy it. I think it was 1,500 caps or something like that. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, you guys know me. I will uh, do anything for camp items. So, anyways, that's it for this video. It's a sort of a short and sweet one. Oh, it's eight minutes actually. I take that back. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, uh, please consider Aang's I promise I won't butcher these one of these days. If you've enjoyed this, if you've enjoyed this, please consider subscribing. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please post them below. Thank you very much, and I'll catch you in the next video.